Good afternoon and welcome to Wizards World. I am Jim Rodondi and today we welcome Aline Peaceman of Club Med. Today, Aline will be talking to us about North American Sun Destinations, Europe and Club Med's all-inclusive ski vacations. As a reminder, we would appreciate it if you mute yourself so there is no background noise during the presentation. And if you have any questions, please use the chat box and we will get to your questions at the end. So sit back, relax and enjoy the presentation. Take it away, Aline. Well, welcome everybody. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to um, learn about uh, Club Med and all the exciting things that are going on. I am the local business development manager uh, based here in Northern California, and they just expanded my territory to cover uh, all of LA, and I also cover Nevada and Hawaii. So I have a really nice territory, and I've been with Club Med now for six years. Uh, my entire career has been in the travel industry, and I've been traveling to Club Med way before I even started working for them. So it's one of my... Um, my favorite uh, holidays and I've been on uh, many. So uh, we do have um, a book, what's called Book with Peace of Mind, um, uh, being what's going on in the, um, in the world today. Uh, so we have uh, uh, free cancellations up to 15 days prior to departure for travel. Um, we also have free antigen testing um, at our resorts in Mexico and the Caribbean, uh, where you need that to get back to the United States. And then we also have an emergency assistance program related to uh, COVID-19. God forbid anyone does get uh, COVID, but we haven't had anyone yet, so that's good. And then we also have a Safe Together program uh, which is an independent company, um, it's called Crystal. And they basically check uh, hotels and resorts for cleanliness. And the POSI check is an elevated check uh, for COVID and Club Med with every resort that they've opened has passed with over 95%. Uh, so we're doing a really good uh, job uh, there. And um, what we're seeing for 2021, uh, we're seeing a demand for our exclusive collection, which I'll talk about later is our brand within a brand. We're also seeing holiday bookings, very strong people miss being with their family and they're already planning for uh, Christmas. And we're also seeing uh, a lot of what we call cruise conversion bookings where, you know, People have been booked on cruises, they cancel, they rebook, they get canceled. And then they say, let's try a land all inclusive. So we're seeing a lot of that cruise conversion bookings. And we're also seeing a lot of what we call revenge bookings, which people have been waiting and waiting and now they feel um, it's time to um, uh, book a vacation. We have uh, 70 resorts worldwide. I'm not gonna be able to talk about all of them, uh, but I'm gonna talk about what is open now in North America, of course. And uh, what's open now is Sandpiper Bay in Florida, Cancun in um, Mexico, uh, Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic and Turks and Caicos in the Caribbean. Uh, we are set to open um, Caravelle in Guadeloupe and uh, Martinique and Meech's Playa Esmeralda, end of June. And to be honest with you, that could change. If Europe uh, does not open, in particular France, I don't see us opening um, those properties. I see them delaying it uh, again. And uh, we are planning to open Extapa in Mexico for December and um, Columbus Isle, which is our private island in the, uh, in the Bahamas. And the re reason those two are not opening till December is they're difficult uh, to, to get to. Uh, we're very lucky at Club Med because we have a huge property. Um, our, our resorts average 50 acres. 
And uh, that's, you know, like being on a few football fields. And we also build three story maximum accommodations. The rule is no higher than the palm trees. We have a lot of open air restaurants and bars. And we're usually the one who got there first. So real estate wise, we're usually in prime, uh, prime location you will not see us build any uh, high rises. So I'm gonna talk about Cancun. Um, it's one of our, our most famous and uh, I think it was the second resort built in Cancun. And it's built right there on the, uh, on the reef. It has uh, one mile of beachfront, uh, three beaches and 501 rooms. And we keep pouring a lot, a lot of uh, millions of dollars into this club. So it keeps getting better and better. And just to compare, if you look at the uh, hotel after hotel in, in the hotel zone, and they average around 600 uh, rooms and 0.1 mile of beachfront. So that makes it harder for uh, social uh, distancing. Sorry about that. And now we're gonna go over to Sandpiper Bay in Florida. And that's really the only all-inclusive in the US. It's very different than our clubs in the Caribbean and in Mexico, as it's more like a country club. It's built on a bay, it's in uh, Port St. Lucie. And the location is exactly halfway between Orlando and Miami, around two hours in the middle. The closest airport is uh, West Palm Beach. And this is a, a, a good club for people who really don't wanna leave the US or for some reason can't leave the US because of uh, a passport. It's also very much heavy on sports, especially tennis, golf, and um, volleyball. And uh, our kids program starts at four, four months old, but it does not have that Caribbean beach feel. It's more of a resort uh, feel, feel for, the, for the space. Uh, this is our main pool there. We have, do have an adult only infinity pool. The accommodations are, they range in Club Med and, and Sandpiper is more, the accommodations are our, our basic. I'd say around four star. We are big there on sports academies. Uh, and we've also added pickleball, which is very popular growing sport. Um, it's uh, in, the, in the US. So we have added pickleball courts there as well. There is a uh, summer camp there for, um, for kids, for, uh, for soccer. Their accommodations are separate. Uh, but that's something nice we have there. And we have a year round uh, tennis school that is uh, world famous. And we've you know, trained um, athletes that have been in the, uh, in the Olympics. So our tennis program there is amazing. And then on the bay there, we do have all the uh, sports, sailing, kayaking, paddle boarding, as well as motorized sports, which are they, all the motorized sports there are at an additional uh, cost, uh, but we, they do offer them. And the water skiing there is really, and the wakeboarding is nice because it's flat. We're gonna head over to Cancun. This is my personal favorite. I've actually been there three times since, uh, since COVID. Uh, we had uh, two trips for travel professionals and I extended uh, with my family and I'm, I'm booked to go with, uh, with my kids as a present for graduation um, in June. I, this is kind of my home away from home. I, I just love this uh, property. Uh, we've done so well here, especially um, uh, with families. We have what's called Agua Marina. And uh, we added that about five years ago. It was so popular. We had si we have 60, 60 rooms there. And we added, we had so much space to build. We added another 60 rooms. They're three story and they're, they're gorgeous. We added an additional swimming pool 
And I don't know if you can see here, there's the little kitty chairs just for little kids. There's a bar just for kids and a bar for adults and there's snacks here. And then we added a separate check-in for this section of the resort, which is uh, close to the tennis. So this is what the rooms look like inside. Uh, they're basically two bedroom, two and a half bath for the deluxe and the, um, the uh, regular Agua Marina room is a uh, two bedroom. The difference is it's one and a half bath. So that's the difference between the deluxe and the Agua Marina. They are all oceanfront, every single one of them. So um, on the first story, you can walk right out to the beach. Second and third story, of course, you know, the view is more spectacular because you're higher. So that's the, uh, that's the difference there. That's the, uh, the kids, kids' room. So in the deluxe, they have their own private bathroom inside the room. So that's the main difference. We also have an exclusive collection space there called Jade. And I will talk more about the exclusive collection later in the presentation. But this is just to give you an idea, this is the uh, suite over in Jade. Now we're going to go over to uh, Dominican Republic, uh, Punta Cana. And this resort is located on a 2000 square foot uh, beach. Uh, Club Med is famous for all their sports activities, uh, which are included in the price. And uh, Creactive is something we added. Uh, we only have that in two locations. Uh, Punta Cana was the first. And what Creactive is, is a joint venture uh, between Clubnet and Cirque du Soleil. So we offer uh, 30 different activities there. Everything from um, double-handed trapeze to uh, bungee jumping and uh, wheel spinning to just face painting. So anyone who wanted to be in the circus, this is kind of um, a, a wonderful activity. At different times of the day, it's for different age groups because um, they, they do the trapeze according to uh, size. So this starts at age four and it is included. Uh, there's the beautiful 2000 square foot uh, beach here in Punta Cana. And there is an exclusive collection space there as well called Tierra and this is the pool over at uh, Tierra. In our exclusive collection spaces and our exclusive, uh, only clients that are staying there get to use that space. And they, they have a different color uh, wristband. So that's the advantage. It's also upgraded uh, amenities as well as uh, concierge, and this is um, the family suites there in Tierra. They look similar to Agua Marina, but these are the exclusive collection. In uh, Punta Cana, we also have what's called Zen Oasis. And anyone in the resort can go over to Zen Oasis, even if they're not staying in Zen Oasis, as long as they're an adult. And an adult at Club Med is 18 or older. Uh, so the rooms here are very modern, they're, they're gorgeous. And they're built all around this uh, pool. Uh, and uh, there's a, a bar here and there's also a, a jacuzzi. It's a really nice uh, quiet space. So a lot of the adults will drop their kids off in mini club and come over here to relax because you won't hear any um, loud noises here. Unless, of course, you have a group of rowdy adults, which we don't have very often. Turks and Caicos, I would say this is the most popular in our collection in North America because it is always wins in TripAdvisor for the number one beach. It's located there right on Grace Bay, hence the name turquoise, and that is truly the color of the beach. It is an amazing beach, uh, the uh, sailing, the snorkeling and the diving are, are very uh, popular here. And the fact that it is, you must be 18 or older 
uh, to go to this resort uh, makes it uh, very, very uh, popular. And this is just another picture of the uh, view. They also do um, the sailing uh, GO team. At Club Med, we have what's called GOs, and it stands for General Organizers. And basically, they're our, our staff, and they come from all over the world. And uh, that's one of the things that makes Club, Club Med very different. So you have a lot of all-inclusives. And yes, they might have a few sailboats, but we have a lot. And not only do we have a lot, if you don't know how to sail, uh, we'll teach you. Or, you know, let's say you want to go out on the sailboat, one of the um, geos will we'll take you out with them. Where um, if you look at other all-inclusives, they don't have what's the, the lessons. So for instance, tennis. We have tennis rackets, but we also include group lessons. Same thing for trapeze. Uh, so in all of our sports, we do have uh, instruction, which is, uh, which is really, um, really great. And um, we've also added, um, so house wine and, um, and basic um, alcoholic beverages are included, but you know, especially here in Northern California, people want to have maybe a nicer selection of wine. So we do have that available. It is at an extra uh, charge. So if you want your expensive champagne, no, that's not going to be included in the price, but you can, you know, it, it is available if you want to uh, pay for it. The, the basic wine, it's a basic house wine. And the beers are great. The beer is, uh, is fine. So, um, but, so we have everything available. And uh, Sharkies. So Sharkies is uh, one of the must try experiences. It is the place to be at Turks and Caicos at happy hour and sunset. It has a beautiful sunset. And then we have uh, at Club Med, we hire what's called local artists. And it could be just, you know, a person playing a guitar. It could be three different people. And we have different artists at different times, different days. And they're usually playing music. There's volleyball set up. And uh, it's just a, a really fun uh, spot to be. Uh, so sustainability, uh, we don't talk about it that much. But uh, by the end of this year, um, all of our resorts are going to be Green Globe uh, certified. Uh, we built a new resort in um, the Dominican Republic that uh, opened. And then uh, right now, it's uh, set to open end of uh, uh, June. But basically, uh, it's, it's a new build in a new location. There's no other resorts there. We, we had to build the roads, put in the electricity, and we took out more than 2000 palm trees to build that and we put every single tree back. So we really make a lot of effort um, to um, keep uh, the environment and we're banning use of all uh, plastic at our, our resorts. So that's, that's kind of nice. So I kept talking about exclusive collection. What is the exclusive collection? And uh, basically it's, it's upgraded amenities and uh, a private, more private, more luxurious product and space. We have four product lines within the exclusive collection. One is our villas and chalets. The other is our exclusive collection resorts, which means the entire resort is five Trident or exclusive collection, it means the same. Cruises, we only have one cruise ship and uh, that's the Club Med 2, that's part of the collection. And then the exclusive collection spaces, like I showed you in Punta Cana and uh, Cancun. So those are, those are the four product lines. The villas and chalets, uh, we have what's called Finalu Villas, and that's located in the Maldives, and uh, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and price point wise, it is much less expensive than going to Tahiti. It comes with a uh, butler, you can choose sunrise or sunset, 
and you have your own private um, pool. They're about 2,000 square feet. Uh, they're, they're beautiful. And close by to the Finalu Villas, we have another over the water uh, bungalow property. They're a little bit smaller um, and uh, clients staying here can go over to Connie, but not vice versa. And then we have in, um, in the French Alps, we have the Valmorel chalets, which are really nice for uh, large family uh, um, gatherings. They're two to four bedrooms. And they also come with a, uh, with a butler service in our ski product. So this is, uh, this is my favorite resort in Europe and it's in Sicily. Uh, it's uh, called uh, Cefalu and it's built right into the scenery. There's a lot of history with this resort because when Club Med first opened, this was one of the first resorts and they were, it was kind of after World War II and they were tents. So it was very, very basic accommodation. And now, um, and it stayed closed for a long time. And now it reopened as an exclusive collection with a Michelin star chef. And I'll, I'll show you what they, uh, they look like. We have uh, 128 uh, villettes. And this is what the villettes look like. And uh, if you see the rock in the background, you can walk to the town. It's about 15 minutes. You can also hike up that, that rock. I walk to town every day when I was here. It's just uh, a beautiful, I mean, Italy is just beautiful every region, but Sicily is really, really fun. You could use this as a base and you could drive one day to Terramina. You can go to Palermo. You can go to, to the uh, southern part of the island. Um, so it's it's really um, a fabulous. This is what the, the looks like, and you can see they're all very um, they're all very private, and they're all built to fit into the uh, the nature of the scenery there. It, it's a it's a fabulous uh, location, and they have a palazzo there. So this just opened in March, uh, the Seychelles, and we, we have been welcoming guests, um, mainly from Israel and uh, Russia, um, but it, it's opened and it's, uh, it's doing well. It's on the private island of, uh, of St. Anne. So you fly in there and it's a, it's a, a boat uh, transfer to the, this island. It's kind of an eco uh, chic, and this is also part of our exclusive collection. Nietzsche's Playa Esmeralda. Uh, we opened this in November, 2019. So it was open a short time before COVID, uh, COVID hit. And this is really a unique one of a kind um, resort. It was a big deal. The president of the Dominican Republic came to the grand opening of this resort and there's four boutique villages here, Caribbean paradise. And this is for everyone, families, singles, adults. And then we have what's called Explorer Cove. And this is uh, for the families. There are two bedroom units, very similar to Agua Marina, where you have the second bedroom. And Emerald Jungle, it's a Zen feel, and this is for adults. They have their own uh, swim up bar. And then Archipelago, we only have a few of these. They're oceanfront, they have a plunge pool. And of course, these are uh, for adults only. So we kind of have something for everyone there. And there's some unique activities in addition to our regular activities. They have horseback riding on the beach. Uh, we have spinning bikes, but we actually have those um, in a lot of places as well. We have family paddle boarding and um, we have treetop yoga there and the Hopi uh, Eclipse. And uh, that's kind of unique. There's a few, every club that we have, we have what's called the must try experiences. And a must try here is to swing on the top of uh, Montana Redonda. And that's located very close to the club. 
you take a Jeep up there and there's this swing and you feel like you're swinging on top of the world. Also in the club, we have what's called a secret chocolate room. And this was designed for kids, but uh, a lot of adults want to go there as well. Uh, so that's two of the unique must try experiences in um, Nietzsche's Playa Esmeralda. Um, we also have um, uh, in Mauritius, we have um, an all uh, five trident. I know that's a little far from here. And uh, cruises, we have one uh, cruise ship. It's called the Club Med 2. If you've ever sailed with Windstar, um, we sold the other, uh, we had two of them, Club Med 1, Club Med 2. So we sold Club Med 1 to them. And the difference is the staff on board here is, is of course, geos from all over the world. And you're gonna have guests, um, a heavy percentage of guests from Europe. They really love the Club Med 2. Um, uh, product line. So it tends to be um, very heavily uh, populated uh, with uh, French, Belgium, and um, uh, people from England. So uh, they do speak English and French, but it's a very international uh, feel on the cruise. And uh, the Club Med 2, it has the water sports deck. And in the uh, summer, it sails um, in the um, French uh, Riviera. We've added some other destinations in Croatia, as well as North Africa and Greece. So the itineraries are interesting. And then in the winter, it is in the um, uh, French Caribbean and the BVIs. So exclusive collection spaces, Sun. This is um, a picture of uh, Jade. I love this space in Cancun. And that was totally renovated in 2017. So they have deluxe rooms there as well as uh, suites. And then Tierra, I showed you pictures of Tierra before. And then La Reserve, it's in um, Brazil. We have an exclusive collection space there as well. And in Marrakesh in Morocco, we have Le Riyadh. And then in Connie, uh, we have, uh, that's in the Maldives. That's our, our other property in the Maldives, very popular with honeymooners and um, anniversaries. My uh, niece uh, went here for her um, honeymoon a couple of years ago and she loved it. So um, we have 75 over the water suites here. And all-inclusive ski vacations. This is one of my favorite uh, parts of our product. And I, I recently took over some of uh, the ski presentations because I just, I just love to ski. And we have um, over uh, 20 um, alpine resorts, in, um, including in, in um, France, Switzerland, and Italy. And then in Asia, we have uh, two in China and two in Japan. Uh, we used to have a, a club in, um, in uh, Colorado called Copper Mountain, but that's been closed uh, for many years. And we've been looking to open a property and I think that's gonna happen in the next few years. Uh, so Club Med is expanding even with COVID uh, we opened a new ski resort this year. It opened, but it didn't really open. Uh, but we, we built it and we opened it. It's called La Rosière. And um, it's on the border of France and Italy. So you can ski one day in the Italian Alps and one day in the French Alps. So our ski product is actually growing the fastest in our collection. It's growing at 30% a year. Um, we expect a huge year next year because this year, the only resort that opened was the um, one in Saint Moritz um, in Switzerland. France did not, uh, France and Italy did not uh, open. What's unique about our ski program is that it's all inclusive. And what does that mean? That means all your food, all your drinks all of the lessons uh, for the kids as well as the adults. 
and, um, and the shows at night. So it's really a great value for those of you that ski, you know how expensive this sport is. And we did a, a price comparison to one of our top uh, locations in France, which is Val Turin's, uh, to a top location in Colorado. And it was a savings of $3,800. So that's a huge, huge savings. I don't know how that got in there. But. So La Rosière that opened in 2020 that I was talking about. And this is a picture of where it's situated um, between the French and Italian Alps. Alp d'Huez is another popular resort. This was totally renovated um, in 2019. And they, they get 300 days of sunshine a year. It's just um, two, two and a half hours from uh, Lyon and two hours and 45 minutes from Geneva. Le Arcs, this was uh, a brand new build. It opened in 2018 and it does have an exclusive collection space. Um, a Grand um, Morale, Grand Massif in France, this opened in 2017. It was also a new, uh, a new build. And this is their dining room with the little uh, gondola cars are really kind of cool. Val Terence, this is my personal favorite in uh, France. I've only been to uh, three of our properties in, uh, in France. I would love to go to more, but it's been, uh, uh, it's a little challenging from this part of the world. Uh, but anyway, Val Turin's the location. It's right in the center of town. It's ski in, ski out. However, the ski and snowboard lessons here, most of our resorts start at age four, but this one starts at age 12. So that's the first thing to, to qualify before you're choosing one of our ski resorts is if you're going with kids and how old they are because you definitely want those lessons included. That's a great uh, value. And when this resort is very modern, you walk in <laughs> and there's a climbing wall and then there's a spiral uh, staircase, which is, is really super cool. Uh, there's a spa and I just love that resort. It's really, um, and you can ski uh, in the same day from Val Terence to Carcheval to Miraval, so it's basically the uh, three valleys. So it's uh, it's wonderful, and we we are opening a ski resort uh, this year, and we are on track to open. And it's not in the U.S., but it's in North America, and it's uh, in uh, Charlevoix, and it's going to be. Um, uh, a year round resort. Everyone in the company is very excited about this. And I'm gonna show you a video. I know you can't hear the music, but I'm gonna talk over the, the video because sometimes pictures just speak um, a, thousand, uh, a thousand words. Uh, so we're gonna have a kids program here, of course. And it is, going to be only an hour and 15 minutes uh, from Quebec. And this is the highest vertical drop on the East Coast. Doesn't compare to us on the West Coast, but it, I would compare it to Lake Tahoe where you have that beautiful uh, view of the lake when you're skiing down there. And every season, whether it's summer or fall, there are different uh, things to do, different uh, cultures, cuisine, uh, the maple uh, syrup there is amazing, the fish. There's also whale watching. Um, it's a famous artist colony in the town uh, nearby. nearby. Uh, and the, the St. Lawrence River is just uh, beautiful in, in every, uh, every season. So, um, Highly, highly encourage you to visit whether it's a winter, spring, summer, or fall. And they will have a exclusive uh, collection space as well. And there's also a dog sled run there that is uh, pretty cool. 
So we're, we're really excited about Charlevoix. And um, this is kind of a picture of the, the build. It's gonna be ski in, ski out. And it's overlooking the uh, St. Lawrence River. I, ha I haven't been, I have been to Quebec but I haven't been to Charlevoix. So I'm looking forward to checking this new resort out. And the dining room and the main restaurant is gonna be a little bit different in that they're gonna have four different themes in the same restaurant. So uh, the food, uh, you know, what Club Med is, Club Med is famous for in all our resorts, we have um, restaurants that are sit down and then we have these huge buffets, but they're not your typical buffets. Even before COVID, we started, we do a lot of stations where you, you, the food is prepared kind of right in front of you. So it's very, very fresh. So how we've been dealing with COVID is everything is single plated. And so when people go to the restaurant, um, they need to wear their, their mask until they're sitting down at their own table. And they just go up and they, they pick up their, their food. They can, and there's many different stations and foods that they can choose from. And in this restaurant, each one is gonna have kind of a theme in different sections. And there'll be one for adults only, there'll be one for families. So you, even though the food is coming from the same kitchen, you can um, have a different atmosphere and they all have great uh, views of the, uh, of the lake and scenery, which is really nice. Um, we also have some amazing international uh, resorts. I'm not gonna go over all of them. I'm just gonna quickly go through some that are popular for Americans. Uh, we have Opio in Provence, and this is about uh, 20 minutes from Nice. So um, I was here for a sales meeting, and then I stayed an extra week, and a girlfriend joined me. And every day we went on a different uh, excursion. We went to Ez, we went to Monte Carlo, we, um, where else did we go? We went to Grasse, we went to St. Paul de Vince. Of course, we went to Nice, we went to Antibes. So every day we did something uh, different. This uh, resort is 124 acres. It is huge. There's a golf course on, on the ground. There are olive trees. And uh, there's a small town nearby that you can hike to called uh, uh, Valbonne. And uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, resort. And they also have a Creactive, like I spoke about. This was the second one built, and we only have two in the entire collection. Dabalia is another popular uh, location in Europe with uh, Americans. And this is in Portugal, and it's um, uh, on the, in the Algarve region, which is just uh, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, they also have a 18-hole uh, golf golf course and a full children's uh, program in Dabalia. That's their main restaurant there. It's a stunning area. Um, and uh, we also have a property in Greece. It's about three, it's a private island. It's three hours from uh, Athens for people that are looking for something a little bit uh, different. That's what the suite looks like there. And then uh, we're very, um, we do a lot of uh, multi-generational family get-togethers. Because there's so much to do at Club Med, there's something for um, everyone. And um, anyway, I, um, I wanna say thank you for joining me. And if anyone has any questions, um, I'm happy to answer. Well, Aline, thank you for that uh, wide range. <laughs> uh, of, of different types of resorts you have all over the world. If, if you do have some questions, please put them into the chat box and we'll make sure Lean gets them. I did want to talk about the different resorts. It seems that you guys aren't just all spread out all throughout the world, but that each resort, even though a lot of them have the same, same, same products maybe to offer, they also have their own individual identities. Yeah. The skis and the beaches and things like that. And, and so and we really have to 
delve into maybe what is unique to the people that want to go there and then find a club that matches their personality? We have something for everyone in the collection, and it's, but it's really important to, to choose the, the, the right club for the right guest. Because, you know, not every club is for every guest. Um, and, and we have a wide range of, of like, you know, accommodation. Yeah. Well, not just accommodation, but the activities. And yes. things and things of that nature. I mean, and I did see that you do have some adult only uh, resorts, and then you have some that obviously um, cater to multi generational, whether it's uh, just parents and, and children, or maybe even grandparents and stuff of that nature. Yes, definitely. Okay, there is a question in the chat. Let's see what it says. It says, um, "Is there a daily price point between the beach and ski and the four and the five stars, and what is the average?" It, that's a question that they're going to need to uh, ask one of the travel advisors to look at. It's kind of like asking what an airline ticket is going to cost at a certain, uh, you know, uh, they change. It depends what time of year. And, you know, I, I can tell you that um, there's a, a difference in there's a price differential with Club Med, but in particular for Christmas and holiday is going to be more expensive okay. than, than the other times. And ski is going to be a little bit more expensive because we're including the lift ticket, the lessons, and, and that's all inclusive. But it's really not expensive compared to what we spend here in Colorado or Utah or um, Lake Tahoe. It's, uh, it's much, uh, much less expensive, much more affordable. And, and of course, with uh, pretty much everything being all inclusive, I mean, I realize there's a few things here and there um, at the different resorts that might not be included, but basically with everything being included, it's, it's you know going in pretty much how much your, your trip is going to cost, and it's all, all behind you because it's paid, paid up front. So once you get there, you can just relax and have a good time. Yes, exactly. And uh, you, you don't feel pressure for, for tipping. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not expected at Club Med. Uh, usually people do tip the, the guy that helps with the, uh, with the luggage and housekeeping, mm -hmm. um, but uh, the bartenders are not expecting any tips. Okay. All righty. Well, it says somebody, somebody put something in here, especially if you have someone that is learning to ski, it's obviously very good to, to, to go to your property. And the huge difference between Club Med and all other all-inclusive is lessons are included in every sport. So that's, uh, that's nice to know. Yeah, so, you know, even for the advanced skiers, I, I, I was at Squaw this year, and a, a lot of resorts are doing this. They have what's called a mountain guide, and they're charging, I, and, you, and you're in a group of a few people, and I forgot what it was, two or three hundred dollars. <laughs> it's a lot of money. <laughs> and we, but and we don't have to worry about that with Club Med. Right. Okay, well, I don't really see anything else in the chat box at this stage of the game outside of thank you for sharing the world of Club Med with us. So that's uh, always nice to hear. So we, we do appreciate that, Aline. And for you regulars, we will be back again next week at 4.30 on Wednesday. So we hope to join you then. And Aline, I just wanted to thank you once again for this fabulous presentation and joining us this afternoon and enlightening us on Club Med. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate your time. And if anyone has any questions, if they need pricing, they can call um, any one of the travel consultants at uh, Travel Wizards. We'll be able to get them a price. Yeah, so we also realize that questions don't end today. If we have think of something tomorrow, we can always reach out. So again, Aline, thank you. And we hope to see everybody next week. And until then, you have yourself a good night. Okay, thanks again, Jim. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Goodbye.